Christmas everybody! This look is dedicated to my fellow Aussie subbies out there who are currently celebrating a hot Christmas day. It's a summer twist to the classic Christmas look with bronzy eyes, a sun-kissed dewy complexion and bright orange lips. If you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching! So let's start with sunscreen or a primer with SPF. Everyone needs sunscreen with temperatures rising to 40 degrees Celsius and the sun rays in full intensity. To achieve a dewy glow from within look, I'm mixing my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Liquid Illuminator with my Cover FX foundation onto a palette and then applying it with a flat top foundation brush. For liquid contour, this stuff is amazing. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa and using the applicator to deposit the product. I'm applying contour under my cheekbones, down the sides of my nose, onto my forehead and of course down my jaw. Then I'm going to take the edge of my foundation brush to blend it in, taking care not to get too carried away to prevent your face from looking too muddy. To define, I like to brush off the excess contour colour on the brush onto a makeup wipe and then reapply some of the foundation onto the highlight areas. Now we just want to set everything using your favourite powder. Here I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent and I'm using a duo fibre brush to lightly apply this to retain as much of the dewy glow as possible. brows I'm using my e.l.f. cream eyeliner in copper and I'm applying this with an angle brush. Try to keep it looking as natural as possible for that carefree summer vibe. I'm going to go ahead and lighten my brows to keep things nice and fresh and here I'm using Astralis Brow Tint in blonde. For our base we're using the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Gold. This will give the colours that we're using a nice golden rich undertone. Don't forget to use your favourite primer before applying this for a longer lasting eye look. I'm applying the gold to the top of our lid, onto the lower lash line and also into the waterline. Now we're going to blend that base out using a clean blending brush. The eye look we're creating today is simple and we're only using one eyeshadow palette. Today I'm using the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in Waikiki Strip. To begin I'm taking the bottom shade and applying it to the outer third and inner third of our crease using a tapered blending brush. Now I'm going to take the second shade from the bottom and apply this all over the lid with a flat shader brush. with the same shader brush, I'm applying this onto the centre of the lid and over the previous colour we just applied to create dimension and highlight. And then I'm just going to run that same colour onto our lower lash line. To create more of a smoked bronze look, I'm going to bring some of the darker bronze shade onto the outer third of the lower lash line and I'm applying it where the brush just dips into our natural contour. Then I'm just going to blend everything out with a clean fluffy brush and clean the edges using what's left on our foundation brush. For liner, I'm using the Zoeva Graphic Eyes in Glance, which is a rich bronze colour, and I'm using this to tight line our lid. For mascara, I'm using Makeup Forever Smoky Lash and applying it to the top and lower lashes. Before I apply my falsies, I'm going to highlight my inner corner using the top two highlighter shades of the palette. For falsies, I'm using the Butterfly Lashes in number 43 and applying it with the Duo Adhesive in Dark Tone. Now moving on to the face, I'm using the Kiko Mineral Bronzer all over my face. For 
blush I'm using the NYX Cream Rouge in Orange for a natural peachy sun kiss glow. This blush is very pigmented so use the light hand. I'm first starting it on with a stippling brush, removing the excess colour onto a makeup wipe and then blending it out. Finally, moving on to the lips, I'm going to take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Morocco for an orange twist on the classic red lip. You can build this colour up depending on the occasion, and for a daytime look, dab it on and blend it out for an orange stain on the lips. Alternatively, for a more dramatic event look, apply this in layers to intensify the opacity for a bright, bold lip. And that is it you guys, this is my summer twist on the classic Christmas look. It's dewy, bronzy and would look gorgeous on any skin tone. If you do decide that the lip colour is just not packing enough of a punch, use a brighter orange lipstick. Here I'm using the Everbellina Matte Lip Cream in Scarlet, which is equivalent to the MAC Matte Lipstick in Lady Danger. So this is my third holiday look for the series and one of my absolute faves. I think that regardless of whether you're from the Northern Hemisphere celebrating a winter Christmas or in the Southern Hemisphere celebrating in the sweltering heat, I think this look is one that anyone can enjoy. Hope you guys try it out. It's my Christmas look for the year and it's what I'm currently wearing Christmas Day. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and to everyone in Australia and New Zealand celebrating Christmas today, Merry Christmas. May you and your family stay safe in the upcoming year and thank you everyone for your love and support hope you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up for uploading on christmas day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye